Hey y'all, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. Period. We back. I told y'all I wouldn't be missing for too long. I'm just gonna try to upload as much as I possibly can. I know my schedule is pretty hectic, especially with my new job, so bear with me. I'm gonna try my best to like, you know, go out, do different things so that you guys can watch and enjoy. It's Sunday, October 17th. So I actually just uploaded a vlog from the past like month and a half, two months that I've been missing from YouTube. Go ahead and watch that if you haven't already. I will link it down below. Go ahead and check that out. Yeah, y'all, it's Sunday. Definitely giving fall vibes today. It's cool outside. All the windows are open, so it's definitely giving fall. Y'all, I'm sorry if y'all hear voices in the background. Literally, it's football Sunday, so my family is downstairs being loud as hell. As always, I'm still in my pajamas. When it's Sundays, I do not get out of bed. I don't do much. I go ahead and change my sheets because I change them every single week, every single Sunday. Also, I am going to be unpacking some of my fall clothes that I just didn't pull out yet from the move. And I'm gonna be switching some summer things out with some fall things just so that, you know, I can change up my wardrobe a little bit now that it's getting, you know, cool and fall vibes outside. That's all I'm pretty much gonna be doing to be preparing for the work week. I'm gonna redo my hair. It's looking a little bit crusty. It looks fine, but I definitely wanna get it fresh for um, Monday. Let's get to it. <laughs> actually want to get a new comforter but I'm planning on moving out in the spring so it's just like and I've mentioned that a few times already and I just don't think it's it, I don't think it makes sense for me to buy all new stuff while I'm still living at home I just want to get all new fresh clean stuff when I move out so I'm gonna show y'all the bin that I'm unpacking that has my like fall stuff in it. Excuse this ghetto bin. Anyway, I basically just have a lot of coats and stuff. A lot of like trench coats, leather coats, like stuff like that. But like my sweaters and stuff are at the bottom. So. I'm just gonna, oh, and I have a thing of hangers right here, so I'm just gonna unpack some of this stuff. I don't know how much is going to fit in my closet, but we're gonna see.
left Atlanta Breakfast Club it was so good the food was so good last night I kind of went on like this little date night um so that was fun had a lot of fun there oh hold on I'm following somebody so I was confused that where we was going but um yeah we're on our way to the brunch fest there's a brunch fest in Atlanta this weekend at Atlantic Station. We had paid for our tickets like in August. So yeah, now they're like $60. But yeah, we're going to this brunch fest because it's my friend Sherelle's birthday tomorrow. She'll be 25. So we're pretty much just celebrating her this weekend. Um, so we went to breakfast this morning at Atlanta Breakfast Club. Food was so good. I got this thing called the Georgia Peach. And it's basically just like chicken and waffles, but they added like their peach cobbler sauce on top. So good. Y'all, I hate when people be staring at me. But anyway, um, yeah. So we just left there. So I'm just driving I'm on my way to Atlantic Station. But yeah, I just wanted to check in with y'all because I don't normally say too much in the vlogs i really just be having little like b-roll or like little montages so i wanted to get on here to make sure that y'all you know had some footage of me talking basically but yeah i'm gonna get here and then i'll just basically show y'all what happens the rest of the day Kisses, no, 
Hey y'all, welcome back. So, getting on the vlog, cause I haven't talked much the entire like duration of this vlog so far. <laughs> um, but just a little recap from yesterday. I went to, where did I go? I went to breakfast at Atlanta Breakfast Club for my friend Sherelle's 25th birthday and then after that we went to Atlanta brunch fest at Atlantic Station it was so fun and after that we stopped by the Georgia State homecoming tailgate not for long we weren't there long child they started shooting well not shooting but like started pulling guns out it was just not the vibes so we left after that I kind of went on like a little mini date we went to the yard milkshake bar it was so good y'all i'll insert a picture of the milkshake i got chef's kiss that shit was so fire i would highly recommend Not too far where we were at in atlantic station so if you're in that area i would definitely check it out it was so good and then today i haven't done much it's 3 40 already in the afternoon I just went and got my nails done over again um, so these are my nails. I just went with a basic um, French, like, yeah, French style. So I just went with something simple. I didn't want anything too dramatic. And I also just stopped by Sephora. Um, they currently have a new Sephora near my house. So I'm so excited about that. Just picked up my moisturizer that I normally get. I get the belief true moisturizing balm i love this it's really good on my skin i love how it feels it's very clean feels lightweight but it's thick so it lays on the skin well when i wake up in the morning my skin is literally still glowing this is what it looks like actually shown this on my channel before in like a skincare routine or like a shower routine i'll link it in the description box below if you guys want more information about it but i love this this is 38 dollars so not too too expensive but it's up there for a, a moisturizer but this normally lasts me a couple months i also got a new perfume i'm so excited i really like warm subtle like sultry type scents that's definitely my vibe and what lays on my body well so i came across this perfume and i'm so excited because i was nearing the end of my perfumes so i went ahead and got c by giorgio armani um, and then so I got the 1.7 ounce and then I also got the travel size They went ahead and got the travel size. I know it's kind of pointless, but it was only $29 and I just feel like I always want a Travel size in my bag when I'm going out or just need like a little quick freshen up Whatever on the wrist on the neck, whatever So that's why I went ahead and got it because I just feel like it's convenient Perfume was 98 and the tester, yeah, was 29. And then the moisturizer was 38. So I spent 174.90. Not that bad. In Sephora, I've done way worse damage in Sephora. So I think I've done pretty good. And I deserve it. I try to treat myself at least once during the month. So this will be my splurge purchase for myself. But yeah. This is what it looks like. Super cute. Love the packaging. This is what it looks like. Oh, this is bigger than I thought it was. Okay. This is what it looks like. Super cute. I love this. Oh my god. It smells so good. I just cannot. I'm just going to be smelling like a baddie. But this is what it looks like. Super cute bottle. I'm gonna put this back in the packaging because <laughs> I wanna take a picture for Instagram. Let's see. This is what the travel size looks like. Same thing, super cute, love it. To enjoy the rest of my Sunday. I'm not sure where I will see y'all next.
but i love y'all have a very blessed sunday and i will see you guys in a second or tomorrow wherever i end up hey y'all uh, welcome back to the vlog um it's kind of shitty outside and it's really really dark anyway look absolutely insane <laughs> it's saturday it's currently about 3 30 i'm about to go in this hair store and see if i can find um some earrings for my halloween costume tonight it's only fitting i chose to be nunu from the movie atl so that's who i'm gonna be for halloween Let's see but yeah, I'm about to go in the hair store to get what I need. It's very rainy and disgusting outside. If you could see from like my windows, it's just like very not, <laughs> not um, sunny outside. So yeah, I'm about to go get these earrings. I'm gonna stop at Starbucks and get, I'm really not supposed to be drinking coffee, but I'm gonna get like a refresher or something because I need a little energy boost because when I get home I'm gonna start getting ready for the party kind of not so in a good mood um because well actually it's not Halloween yet I'm an idiot tomorrow is Halloween Sunday so it's not Halloween yet but anyway October 30th is normally a very hard day for me um not even day but like the whole month really because my mom passed away october 30th like seven years ago so i'm a little bit in a funky mood i don't know i don't really know what i feel or like what's going on with me today but i'm just trying to be in good spirits be around good people so that's what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna go in here try to find these earrings and then um go to starbucks get a refresher and then i also have to get gas because sis is on like e and that's one thing i hate about living down here like i go through so much gas on a weekly basis so much gas like it's absolutely insane but yeah y'all that's what i'm about to do so i'll see y'all i'll catch up with y'all in like a couple hours or so. I got my Starbucks, got my refresher, I'm getting gas, a quick trip right now, and it's pouring, can I just say getting gas is the most ghetto thing on this planet, like, it really is, like, a couple weeks ago, or last week, I was like out in Buckhead, like doing some little like date activities and why was my gas sixty dollars why like absolutely not see period that just stopped at 47 not even 50 that's what i'm talking about like sixty dollars when that shit was sixty dollars i was like yeah never again never getting gas out here ever again but when i move I'm gonna have to, so I better quit the attitude and just deal with it. <laughs> 